Welcome to the last video in our Capturing Connected Learning in Libraries series. I'm Josie Chang Order at the University of Colorado Boulder. And I'm Tim Podkel at SRI International. And today we're going to talk briefly about what the previous four videos showed you about the process of creating talkback boards. And then we'll shift to focusing on big picture suggestions and questions to think about as you're working on this or any evaluation. Recall that everything starts from the outcomes that you're interested in capturing, from interest to attendance to the connected learning principles that Mo and Kevin and our partner librarians have been using and focusing on in their library spaces. Talkback boards can be closed-ended or open-ended. Just make sure that you have some idea of how you're going to analyze the data. Think of providing prompts that cover a range of possible behaviors that your patrons and participants might do or attitudes that they might have. It is important to be realistic about the effort you can expend to collect information, analyze it, and create action or changes based upon that information. Before beginning, you'll want to ask critical questions about data collection, data management, data users, and data products. Some of these questions that are important to ask of yourself or institution include, how much time do you have to collect the information from program participants, and when is the best time to collect that information? Is it at the beginning as people enter the room? Is it in the middle of the activity? Or is it at the end? How often does it make sense to collect the information from participants? Do you want to collect it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, after every session? For example, Kevin uses his talkback boards after every program session, while Mo leaves his talkback board out for the drop-in space for a much longer span of time, such as a couple weeks and sometimes up to a month. Will you repeat these prompts to see what has changed? Are you interested in change over time or are you only interested in one specific event? What capacity does your institution or program have to analyze the data? Can you track the information digitally? Is there someone on your team that's really into data and likes to use Excel or Google Drive? Some more questions to consider about other stakeholders and implications of your data are, do you need or want to quantify this data for yourself or external audiences that may require this information? Who else needs to know about the information that's being collected or should actually be helping you collect the data? How will you, if at all, share this data with external partners such as donors, funders, other institution staff? How does your audience best receive this information? What kinds of products can you create to help them understand what you've been learning? And finally, how frequently can you make changes to your program that would or could be informed by the data that you've collected? Who do you normally involve in developing programs and how will you get them to buy into the evaluation data for supporting your changes? For example, Mo has one day a week where their space in the library isn't open at all and he takes that entire day to work with staff to look at this data. These are all important things to think about as you plan for using these or any evaluation tools in your library spaces. We wanted to share one final example from Mo at our partner library to talk about how the data from his evaluations have informed more than his own programming as well. The results of this evaluation has been shared with our leadership team to justify the large investment our organization has made in creating an operating budget for this initiative and also confirming the predictions of the needs of our customers based on the information gained through these evaluative measures. Anythink will then integrate successes into regular library programming to target three main strategic initiatives that we have as an organization. They are arts and culture, community, and career. As with any data collection endeavor, it is important to clearly understand why you are collecting the data, how you are going to manage it, and what you would ultimately like this data to inform. Talkback boards are highly effective, low-tech, and low-cost means by which to get a wealth of data and practical measures of your program's progress towards meeting its goals. We know from working with our partner libraries and talking to other librarians that talkback boards are valuable at all levels, from single programs or makerspaces to entire library systems. Thanks to our partner librarians for contributing to this video series and evaluation work, and thank you to UC Irvine and IMLS for making these videos possible. We would really love to hear about examples of how you're using TalkBack boards and doing evaluation in your libraries and other connected learning spaces. You can tag us on Twitter at VCL Alliance. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.